Those who don't appreciate life do not deserve life. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 things to remember before seeing Spiral. That was just a diversion to get us out of the precinct. You don't know me, but I know you. I want to play a game. We can never come from anger or from vengeance. You taught me that. For this list, we'll be recapping the most important points to remember from the Saw series and taking a look at the major things known about Spiral so far. A spoiler alert is definitely in order. Which factors do you think have defined the Saw series? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Spiral is a continuation of the original franchise. Spiral, or Spiral from the Book of Saw, features a different style from the franchise norm, featuring mainstream actors and an entirely different set of characters. Hello, Detective Banks. Do you know where your officers are? However, the story isn't a reboot and is supposed to be a continuation of the series' established chronology. The timeline is what separates the original series from Spiral, as this movie is set years later. This is a way to bring a clean slate to the plot due to the ambiguity behind the movie's killings, since the long period of inactivity for Jigsaw baffles the characters. Wait, I thought the Jigsaw killer was dead. Keeping the franchise's tradition of flashbacks, Spiral's promotional material has also acknowledged this connection through the references to the crimes committed by Jigsaw that were seen in the original series. Jigsaw copycat. This is gonna go sideways fast. Number nine. John Kramer lost his family before becoming Jigsaw. Unlike most horror movie villains, Jigsaw never started out with the intention of carving out a feared persona. I didn't just get pregnant. It was carefully planned. Everything with John was. In fact, his backstory is a tragic one, where circumstances forced him to become a shell of a man he used to be. I got a surprise for you. Once a loving husband and an expectant father, John Kramer was excited to welcome his child into the world. His wife Jill continued to try and help addicts on the path to recovery despite John's reluctance, and his apprehension turned out to be right, as one of Jill's patients turned their world upside down. I forgot my jacket. I forgot my jacket. The loss of their child resulted in the estrangement of John and Jill's marriage and began John's descent into madness. You did this to yourself. Yeah. Number 8. Jigsaw's philosophy is to make people appreciate their lives. As far as Jigsaw is concerned, he's not a killer and has never taken anyone's life. This logic stems from his own near-death experience. Can you imagine what it feels like to have someone sit you down? John Kramer? And tell you that you're dying. After the diagnosis of his cancer, John attempted to kill himself, but miraculously survived. I had literally driven myself to suicide, and I had failed. This convinced him that life needs to be appreciated, and those who don't cherish their lives don't deserve to live. Those who don't appreciate life do not deserve life. He believed that was proven after Amanda Young's survival, as Amanda's claims of rehabilitation pushed him to continue his work. You once told me that she was a lost soul. But here she stands. She's clean. His practice of removing a jigsaw piece of skin from his victims is supposed to represent the lack of survival instinct in them, which Jigsaw considers to be the reason they don't appreciate their lives. He helped me. Number 7. Jigsaw targeted the police detectives on his trail. The premise of Spiral involves a capture of police officers, seemingly orchestrated by Jigsaw. But this is something that the villain has done before. How can I catch this guy? If there's nobody on the bus, I can bust! When his crimes began gaining notoriety, Jigsaw started targeting the officers behind him. Please! Please! Hold it right there, don't move! Officers Tap and Singh's failed attempt to capture Jigsaw was the catalyst to his plans, as he then targeted Eric Matthews, Allison Carey, and Daniel Rigg. Tying into his logic of people not appreciating their lives, Jigsaw found flaws in these officers' personalities as justification for his pursuit of them. Tonight, you face your obsession. What you can't do. I saved everyone. Will you learn how to let go? Saw 4 depicts an elaborate plan by Jigsaw that effectively eliminates all the officers after him, with the efforts of survivor FBI agent Strom eventually being in vain by the end of Saw 5. Your dedication is to be commended, but I ask you if you have learned anything on your journey of discovery. Number 6. Jigsaw was killed off in the third movie. 
Technically speaking, Jigsaw stopped being directly involved after the third movie, as this is when his death occurred. You can't kill me, Joe. However, the remaining series has depicted his legacy with Jigsaw's plans taking effect from beyond the grave. If you're watching this, Jill, I'm long gone from this world. As far as his death goes, Jigsaw's fate was already doomed as his inoperable cancer reached its last stage by Saw 3. Despite the certainty of his demise, he decided to plan one last game as a way to test his successors. He's completed the third test. Congratulations, Lynn. You're free to go. Yeah, but he's not all the way out yet. It was also a way to see if his final subjects, Dr. Lynn and Jeff Denlin, managed to understand his philosophy. To indulge your obsession, or you can choose to put your vengeance aside. As fate had it, Jeff had no care for Jigsaw's lessons and took his life to get revenge, although Jigsaw ultimately got the last laugh. Number 5. Jigsaw kept multiple apprentices. Jigsaw's charismatic persona garnered him his own followers, whom he used to ensure his legacy remains intact. While it appeared as if he operated by himself, it's later revealed that Logan Nelson was recruited not long after Jigsaw's first game. He continued this practice of keeping apprentices as Mark Hoffman was swayed toward his cause, granting Jigsaw an inside man with the police force. You in this for the long haul, detective? I've been a cop for 20 years. Is that long enough for you? With the fanatically loyal Amanda seeing Jigsaw as a father figure, he ended up with his own surrogate family of sorts. I found myself a father, a leader, a teacher. However, keeping all these apprentices in line had its own challenges, as the matter of becoming Jigsaw's successor turned Hoffman and Amanda into bitter rivals. Get used to me. Still, the presence of so many accomplices means audiences never know who is in cahoots with Jigsaw all along. Number 4. Mark Hoffman Failed to Uphold Jigsaw's Legacy The natural successor to Jigsaw was indeed Mark Hoffman, due to his orchestration of Amanda's demise. But rather than hold true to the philosophy Jigsaw taught him, Hoffman took it as a way to dole out his twisted sense of justice by turning the traps into a brutal display of power. Did anything come from the Sith Baxter tank? Uh, yeah, actually, we might be onto something. Although he managed to hold off Strom's pursuit of him, Hoffman wasn't able to stave off the mounting evidence against him and resorted to straight up killing people in cold blood. It's after he targeted Jigsaw's wife, Jill, when Hoffman's failure as Jigsaw's successor was sealed, prompting Dr. Gordon to carry out Jigsaw's revenge. Having been a secret accomplice the whole time, Gordon makes Hoffman pay for his failure by sealing his doom. Watch over Jill. And should anything happen to her, I want you to act immediately on my behalf. Number 3. The Movies Have Twist Endings Saw movies pretty much always give viewers a false sense of security before the endings show everything in a different context. Game over. Each movie presents the central conflict in a particular way, only for a twist in the story to be revealed in the final moments. In the original movie in the franchise, the identity of the Jigsaw killer was made to appear to be Zepp Hindle before it turned out that Jigsaw had been there all along. His name is John. He has an inoperable frontal lobe tumor. I'm sick from the disease eating away at me inside. Rather than being pure bait and switch, Saw's trademark twists are carefully plotted to reveal vital pieces of the story that keen viewers could notice. This aspect has been taken to a greater scale with each new entry, and it's a safe bet that Spiral will continue the tradition as well. You're the man that killed my dad. Number 2. The New Killer Appears to Be a Copycat The death of Jigsaw is confirmed to be the popular belief in Spiral, which is why the police are clueless as to how the killings have started again. Hello, Detective Banks. Do you know where your officers are? Judging by the trailers, it appears as if a copycat killer is who they're after instead of a successor to Jigsaw. Jigsaw copycat. This is gonna go sideways fast. This is mainly due to the lack of alignment with Jigsaw's philosophy of appreciating life, as the new killer seems to be copying the traps rather than the ideology behind them. Whoever did this has another motive, something personal. They're also going after the police force with a specific intent rather than attempting to shake the authorities off their trail, as Jigsaw had once done. Overall, the assumption is that this copycat has twisted Jigsaw's motives to fit their own malicious needs.
Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Logan started Jigsaw's games once again. The most important takeaway from the Jigsaw movie was the revelation that the last remaining apprentice restarted Jigsaw's games. I recreated Jigsaw's game with criminals from your failed cases. Having chosen to remain dormant after Hoffman's actions, Logan decided to go after the people he believes are wrongdoers in society. The entire movie's events were a way for Logan to signal his arrival and continue Jigsaw's legacy. Why was Edgar Munson free? He was a murderer, but you were protecting him because he was your criminal informant years ago. Trapping people in a barn to complete the same game he had once been a part of, Logan also successfully wiped all evidence against him to keep his secret intact. This left Logan free to do as he pleases, meaning he can use his status as the new Jigsaw without worrying about any retaliation coming his way, like Hoffman did. Together, we built a legacy. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.